Uh, have you ever wondered how the economics of Ethereum, once considered a deflationary asset, have taken an unexpected turn? Let's journey back to the vibrant world of cryptocurrencies and unravel the mysteries surrounding Ethereum's recent surge in supply. Uh, what they uh, just a month ago, Ethereum experienced a surprising twist in its supply dynamics. Data from Ultrasound Money reveals a whopping growth of 50,570 ETH in just 30 days, a far cry from the previous deflationary trend where Ethereum's total circulating supply was shrinking post merge. What gave rise to this intriguing reversal? Uh, a lot and enter the stage the enigmatic figure known as lower gas fees these elusive entities brought relief to Ethereum users slashing transaction costs significantly but little did we know it would also disrupt Ethereum's cherished deflationary narrative uh, we are seeing why the merriment over cheaper gas fees you ask well these reduced costs led to the lower burn rate of ETH and what happens when less ETH gets burned? More coins enter the market. With Ethereum's current annualized inflation rate hovering around 0.4%, the circulating coins now average at a staggering 120,000 ETH, their highest level since 37 Thursday. And what's our chain? Uh, but fear not, dear reader, for Ethereum isn't turning hyperinflationary anytime soon. Projections estimate a net gain of approximately 450,000 ETH being released into circulation over the coming year. Still, that's quite a departure from the asset's former deflationary nature. And then people now, let me leave you with a lighthearted thought. Why did the Ethereum feel richer but heavier? Because he had more gas in his wallet and more ethers into his pockets. And with that said, thanks for joining me on this exploration. Until next time, Keep your eyes peeled for more exciting insights into the crypto realm.